Hello guys, this is Darren from the Variety Show Uncut once again. <laughs> oh man, today we got a box, another box, another box opening. It's kind of a mystery box. Um, it is a, actually a BAM box. Uh, June's BAM box to be specific and it's the pop culture one. Uh, which it had a uh, uh, autograph pop in it for the month of June. And uh, July's box is supposed to have an autograph pop as well. July's pop culture box. And depending on what this one is, if it's something that I like, something that's good, I'll probably go ahead and order the July box as well so I can get that pop because they said that pop is supposed to be related to this pop. And uh, my, my, my guess, because it's supposed to be from a major movie from 2019, and I'm thinking it's probably Shazam, maybe. I have no idea, but that's what my thinking is. But, uh... It may not. It may not be. It may be something totally different. But uh, yeah, but if it's good, I'll, I'll probably order again uh, the July pop culture box, and then the August horror box is gonna have an autograph pop, and I'm definitely gonna get that one. Uh, I don't know what the, the autograph or the pop is gonna be, but I'm a big horror fan as well, so so I'll probably definitely get that one as well. Um, the other day I done a live where I opened, uh, uh, not the chrono, but the, uh, Don't Pop Believe in Mystery Box, and the, uh, and I opened the, uh, Big Tex Pops box. Well, my live started whacking out on me like it usually does, uh, buffering and everything, people couldn't. Yeah, and they couldn't see, and I was told that they couldn't see what pops I got during that live for the uh, Big Tex Pops box. And like I said, it was a $45 box. I came back with $73 worth of value on it. So it was a good box. And I'll probably order from Big Tex Pops again. So, guys, I will leave a, mm, a link to his Instagram because he does it all off Instagram. I will try to leave a link to his Instagram in the description below. If I don't and you're interested, uh, just comment on here and let me know, and I'll try to shoot y'all a link to his Instagram page. Uh, but even though I don't collect his line, still cool, awesome pulls, and I, and I actually like them. And so I'm trying to decide if I want to keep them or sell them. Because I, I, you know, I, at first I said, I, you know, I'm going to sell these, but you know, the more the more I look at them, the more I like them. And it's actually a game, but they're from, both from the same line. So here's the first one. It was the uh, Kingdom Hearts Halloween Goofy. And I didn't think these was going to be worth that much. And this is shared exclusive, all 2017 shared exclusive. Uh, fall convention, but uh, I didn't think they would be as worth as much as they was. And when I looked it up, it stunned me. It it, it did. It really did. And it, it, this one come in at forty one dollars. Okay, and in the box, there's not a whole lot of wrong with the box. It's, it looks pretty minty. So, you know, I was happy with that pull, even though I was wanting the other some of the other top pulls that was in it, like the Elvira and and. Uh, the Gremlins one, the Freddy Funko, and the Thing. I was wanting, I was really wanting those, but I'm happy with these too. So, and then this one right here, it came in at a whopping thirty-five dollars, a Halloween Donald. So, that's what I got out of that box. All right, so that was just kind of showing those again, but in case you didn't see them during the live, I know I was buffering a lot that day. So, but here it is. This is another box I've been waiting on. It was the BAM box. Autograph Funko is supposed to be inside of it. I'm a little worried. I'm hoping the Funko is in the center. Because, look, both edges has been smashed. 
from shipping and stuff. That does happen occasionally. And I uh, just hope they packed it well. So let's see. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead. Like I said, now, I don't know what's in the box. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, open it up on both ends and down the center. Like some wrapping paper there. Just in case. Kind of look away. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to kind of keep this closed. I don't want to look in it just yet. I don't know if this is going to have an autograph print in it or not like I usually do. But uh, since there's an autograph pop in it. I'm going to kind of open it up, let y'all see this box. Okay, I feel pack, packing paper. More packing paper. More packing paper. Throw it over here. more packing paper okay so the pop is kind of on the side where there's no not a lot of damage so hopefully it's good I'm gonna try to save that one for last pull it out more packing paper okay so we're gonna fill around okay hey bammer hey bammer Okay, it says I'm missing an item in this box. It is the prop replica. So I'm supposed to be getting a prop rep replica from them. It says I will see it on the spoiler sheet, but I haven't felt the spoiler sheet yet. So don't you worry. It is coming to you. We will put it in your next box or ship separately if your subscription expires. So... I did not actually I did not renew but uh, depending on what this pop is I may renew because it depends on how this box is I mean I canceled the subscription right after I ordered it so I can get this box just to see more about it Let's see we got all but a couple hundred delivered here to us you don't have to do anything. We have your name marked down, and we will make sure it finds its way home to you. So, okay, so that's good. I, I, I see if they hold their word there. I, like I said, I got friends that orders bound box, and uh, and they all like them. I know Clint does it a lot, and he likes it all over on Franchise Kicks. So, I've never done it before, so this is my first time. There's something right there. I guess this is the pen. This is a pop culture box. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> I have no clue. Is that Papa Lucha? Unmasked? I don't know. That could be Papa Lucha Unmasked. I guess. I don't know. Anyways, that's the pen. If y'all know who he is, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure the spoiler sheet in here is going to tell us too. So there is the pop. Uh, pop. I guess that's the pop. Yep. Yeah. It is in a pop protector. So let's. I got my eyes closed, so I'm not seeing anything. sure okay so okay I'm 
I'll open my eyes back up. There's the spoiler sheet. We're going to lay that to the side and not look at it. Here's the next item. This is probably the art print. I'm going to let y'all see it first. So one, two, three. Close my eyes. Okay, open them up. And let's read the back of it. This art print from our fan art collection titled, this is a Japanese word, I have no clue, has been hand signed by artist Jeffrey Boraz for the BAM pop culture box and is guaranteed to be authentic. Is that Godzilla? It looks like Godzilla. Cool. Number 345 of 500, it says on the bottom. So that is Godzilla. It took me a minute to figure it out, but that's Godzilla. So that's pretty cool. All right, and the last thing is the pop. Close my eyes, pull it out. It feels like it's in a pop protector. All right, so I'm going to spin it around for you guys. So one, two, three. Yep, Shazam. Pedro, autograph, ugh, Lewis, maybe, I, I don't know, can't read it, but there's the autograph, kind of a horrible autograph, I think, <laughs> but, you know, I figured it was going to be uh, something from Shazam. That was my guess, and uh, I was right because there is a lot of those pops. Okay, there is the BAM Certificate of Authenticity right there. BAM Certificate of Authenticity. This Funko Pop has been hand-signed by Hovan Armand, who plays Pedro in Shazam. It was signed... During a private signing for the Bound Pop Culture box, and is guaranteed to be authentic. So, Havon, Hovon, Armad, I guess. So, get the plastic off from it so you can see it a little bit better. But it isn't a pop protector. I have no clue what his autograph goes for. But it's still cool nonetheless. I have not seen the Shazam movie yet, but I have been wanting to see it. Right there it is. There is the Certificate of Authenticity. And it's also got the uh, BAM Certificate Authenticity right there as well. I'll probably get a hard stack for it. Pop is in great condition, it looks like. Minty. Pop is in mint condition, box-wise. So that's pretty cool. All right. So it said that I will be receiving a prop from uh, that from this box. And this card right here says I got a one-up. Congratulations. You got a one-up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box and it says green so I got a one up card so let's see what I have in my box it's upgraded or limited edition okay so I got the upgraded print the 500 it's limited to 500 Thing. So, sign fan art print, first time BAM artist Jeffrey Boraz brings us this incredible Godzilla fan art print. Look for the seeing red variant numbered out of only 500. So, that's what I got. I got the one up on that. So, I got the limited to 500. The rest of them are not limited. The other ones with the blue Godzilla. Actually, 
I think I like the uh, blue one better. But anyways, so the Funko Arm Mod. So they have the they have the three different Pedro pops. See, from the hit movie, Sazam comes a signed Funko Pop. All Funko Pops were signed by Havan Armad, who played Pedro Pina in the movie. Look for inscribed pops numbered out of one, or out of 99. So, I got the basic one on that. So, uh, they're the same pops, but he inscribed something on these two. So, didn't get the one up on that one. Uh, I got that one up on the print, but, uh, so, 90, there was only 99 of them that was signed this way with that inscription on it, and 99 of them this way with that inscription on it, and, uh, one of them with just a signature, which is the one I got. So, the, the one of them says Havan was here, and the other one says Havan kicked his ass, Billy what it says on the other one. So those would have been cool to have gotten. Okay, and the pen. I just got the basic pen. I'm just anonymous. I'm just alone. Heading to its final season. I'm just anonymous. I'm just alone. Heading into its final season. Artist Byron Romero delivers his three pen set from Mr. Robot. So... Whoever this guy is, is from Mr. Robot. Okay, and then, uh, the prop that I didn't get, this Ghost in the Shell prop, Dark Matter Props brings us Major Scarlett Johansson's character, dog tag necklace from Ghost in the Shell, so. That is the prop that I will be receiving eventually. Right there. So, it's not a bag box. Like I said, I'm an autograph collector. So, these these are pretty cool. So, an autograph print. And an autograph Funko Pop. So, I, you know, I hadn't seen the Shazam movie yet, but I've been wanting to. And I know the autograph pop is supposed to be related to the pop that's in this box from what I've read so I will be ordering that box all right guys y'all have a good day this is Darren from the variety show uncut peace out be kind to one another and stay classy my friends